This simple mistake on my part almost cost us big time today. So I'm loading up the trailer for today's video and not thinking nothing of it. I've done this a million times. I could probably do it with my eyes closed. But yeah, watch when TQ and myself go to get the mowers and come up here to put them onto the trailer. Yeah, you guys remember the other day I had the log splitter? Boom, do you see that? Thank goodness we had the chains hooked up because if not, that trailer would've went straight through the salt spreader. All right guys, so a little mistake on my end. You guys remember I've been hauling the log splitter from the shed over to the property, hold on babe. And I totally forgot I went and picked the trailer up yesterday and forgot to switch it from the two to the two and five sixteenths. And TQ went to put the mower on, but now I just gotta get that down so we can reset it. And we got mowers on here. They're gonna move a whole lot, so. See if we can do this without messing anything up. I'm just hoping they don't move far with having those tires blocked. As soon as you get to be on that ditch. This is the second time in 11 years that this has happened and I'll tell you what two times is too many and uh, just give you guys a few tips that I've learned by going through this a few times if the trailer lists up just stop immediately what you're doing all if you're on the mower stop it if you're on a tractor stop and then adjust accordingly because if you go to take that mower back off that trailer is going to come back down potentially hit the tailgate potentially hit other things and break it just stop and come up with a game plan. Change my clothes. 
Sorry, I uh, <laughs> had to go change my pants. We. We're I good. Sh yeah, I just didn't think about it. We had the log splitter mm -hmm. on three days ago, whatever it's been. And I didn't change it from that two to two and five sixteenths inch hitch or ball. <clears throat> and man, TQ went to go up and I was right behind her and I saw it lift. Luckily, those chains underneath caught the bottom of the ball, which didn't allow it to go up because it would have went straight through our salt spreader. <sighs> I mean, the whole housing and all. So problem diverted. Uh, mental note, don't be in a rush and uh, check your balls, right? <laughs> All right, guys, so it's time for us to do our annual 2023 lawn care truck and trailer setup. This is gonna be a complete walkthrough. I will try to move as fast as possible for some of you that know what we already have and for some of you that may not know what we have. We will show everything, and if there's any links that can help save you money, they will be down in the description. You can check them out down there, and it's always code Spencer. So first and foremost, we have the 2022 Ford F-350. This is a one ton pickup truck with the smaller V8. I don't recommend that one, but hey, it'll work. So next on the list and probably the most important is the trailer itself, okay? This is a seven by 16 Liberty utility trailer. It has dual axles in the back and can haul 7,000 pounds. Let's check it out. All right, so first piece of equipment on our trailer are gonna be our backpack blowers. And we like to have a smaller unit for just everyday lawn care cleanup. And then we like to have something big just in case we need to move a lot of material, a lot of debris very, very quickly. So on this side, we have TQ's favorite backpack blower, which is the Steel BR600. And on this side over here, we have my personal favorite, which is the Steel BR800. So let's go ahead and move on. So another of TQ's personal favorites would be our trimmer collection. And all three of these power heads, these are the Steel FS94Rs. They are a light trimmer and they're great for every week, just weekly mowing and trimming. They can knock it down, no problem. And then down here at the bottom is our power head unit. This is like a multi-tool unit. This is a Steel KM131R. Plenty of power, little bit heavy, but we'll definitely get the job done for any real tall hedges or anything like that. But we personally right now have the edger attachment on here to keep those lawns nice and crispy. So while we're talking about the trailer here, I wanna show you a few accessories that are must-haves other than the trailer racks that go all the way around. Everything is equipment defender racks all the way around. We also have down here the cargo buckle. And what this is, is a strap. It's just like a seat belt, and you can strap it right onto your mower and you're able to latch it right down, nice and safe and secure. Works really, really well. Another one will come right back here. It's kind of hidden. But you can see it, which is all the way down this rail right here, okay? This is a gorilla lift, and this goes on top of both sides of your trailer. And what it does is it actually comes out with a cable 
So there's a big old spring like a garage door inside of here and it puts tension on this cable here which actually helps assist with lifting your gate up and down. Makes it a lot easier. Whenever you're doing 10, 15 lawns a day, you know, that's really, really something you're gonna wanna have. probably the most important thing on our trailer are our mowers okay currently right now we have two Toro multi forces and they are both set up a little bit differently so we have the bagging unit here this is going to be great for spring cleanups getting those leaves those pine cones uh, all the extra grass clippings the brown just dead grass from the winter off of the properties getting them cleaned up and getting them hauled away and then we have this unit just pretty much strictly set up for just mowing at this point now with the Toro Grandstand Multi Forces, you can add a bunch of different attachments to them. They have this power head unit on the front here that I'll go ahead and show you real quick. I'll have to fire the unit up. See that there? So what that allows us to do is add a bunch of different attachments on here. They have a broom, they have a leaf plow, they have the bagger, they have snow plows, snow throwers, you name it, blowers, they have all of the attachments for these units. And this is different from the regular Toro Grandstand, okay? The regular Toro Grandstand just simply mows grass. The Toro Grandstand Multi Forces have a slew of attachments that make them an all year round piece of equipment that you can use. And the engine that we prefer to power our Toro Multi Forces is the Kohler Command Pro. This is a magnificent 26.5 horsepower engine, plenty of power and does everything we need. So another nice feature about the Toro Multi Forces is the platform can actually fold up and out of the way, which gives you more room on your trailer. It has a little lever right around the side here. You just pull it and drop it down. Now you're able to stand on it. So if you notice, we have the cargo buckle straps all the way around. We have the equipment defender gas can racks here. And then uh, we're also running the five gallon sure cans. And we choose to run two five gallon sure cans, one for two cycle and one for regular gas, just in case we happen to run a mower out. But this running two cycle oil in a five gallon allows us to run pretty much all week with having to refill up the two cycle gas can. So less time we're spending at the gas station, more time we're spending on the lawns, the more money we're making. So the final rack on our trailer setup is another Equipment Defender multi-tool rack. This rack here, you're able to hang or put shovels, pitchforks, anything you want. I believe it holds four or five down here and you're able to lock them in with this little uh, locking key right here. It also holds a ton of different tools up top. You know, we have uh, bed edgers and just different pitchforks and other little tools that we use around the, the properties and stuff to make our jobs easier. But this just is a really nice tool to have on the trailer where everything's up and out of the way and convenient. It's not in the bed of the truck or laying on the trailer. You're not searching for it. If I tell somebody, hey, go grab a pitchfork, they know what to grab. If I say grab a bed edger, they know what to grab. You know, a, a tool, a hula hoe or something to get weeds out. You know, something that we need to just use around a property for unique jobs or whatever. They know exactly where it's at.
So this trailer setup is all about convenience and being able to work and get to the tools we can safely, fast, and effectively, okay? So we chose to put our trimmer racks onto the passenger side, okay? This keeps us out of the road, out of the center of the road, and uh, these are something that we're grabbing on every single property, whether it's a commercial or residential, we need to be on this side of the trailer. So something to take into account if you're gonna put a trailer set up together is convenience and safety, and that's why we chose to put our trimmer racks on that side. It's another reason why we chose to put our backpacks in between the truck and the trailer. This keeps us out of the road, keeps us in between at safety points here. If somebody would happen to hit us from behind or from the front, we're kind of in the middle here where hopefully we would be protected a little bit, okay? It also keeps us off the sides and keeps the trailer a bit narrower, keeping them up front. Now, tools like this one that are on the inside of the trailer isn't that big of a deal. We can grab them coming up here or if we have a safe spot on the outside, we can go ahead and grab them out there real quick and efficient. The gas cans are something that we don't grab a whole lot. And if we need to, it's something that we can just grab a trimmer and come up beside it or take the gas can and take it to the side and go ahead and fill up there nice and safely. So that's pretty much our lawn care trailer set up here. We are still set up for snow. As you can see, we have the VBX 8000 in the back. We're here in the middle of, well, not even middle, first bit of March here, March 8th, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, we're kind of at that in-between stage, whether we're gonna go into spring or we're gonna stay in the winter, as you guys know if you follow the channel. But uh, yeah. That's our 2023 lawn care truck and trailer setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We would love to answer them for you. The biggest thing is to build something that you absolutely love, guys, and uh, watch a ton of different videos. Watch this video, and maybe you like something, and maybe you don't, but the great thing about it is you can take it all back and you can build your own masterpiece. Oh, all right, guys. So I've been calling customers here. The uh, sun has got people really calm. Here for you, please leave a message. At the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, so this is Sean with Spencer Lawn Care giving you a call. I just wanted to talk over a few things. I got your email here for your services. Uh, I just wanted to let you know we do not offer residential snow removal. I noticed on your request that you put snow removal. Uh, all the other services we offer, mowing, trimming, mulching, uh, you know, flower bed care, obviously weeding that, uh, planting and spring and fall cleanups. We offer all of those services. The only one we do not offer is the uh, residential snow removal. So I just wanted to okay that with you before I came out and gave you an estimate. If you have any questions or concerns, you can give me a call at 330. You can also text that number as well. Thanks. Have a good day. All right, so customer didn't answer, so that's okay. We still leave a message and move on. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out, peace, bye.